this is how a bus has to do the U-turn. He goes across six lanes. All six lanes. Stops everything. And he made it. I don't know if you guys can see it. But anyway. So there's the U-turn. He started left third lane and closed all the traffic to make that U-turn there. That's how it's done, baby. Looks like you see all these trucks set up overland, nice off-road style. There's the shop. somewhere. Plaza Thai style, badass looking Ford Ranger. Uh, at your gas stations, scooter mafia, and uh, bathrooms over there. You got all these little stores, all sorts of little stores. A lot of good food. Scooter mafia parks here. Uh, it's, it's a big travel holiday, so everybody goes back and visits family. Pretty badass Royal Enfield here. Look, this guy took me. He set up his Royal Enfield cafe style. It's nice. Oh, good. Oh, man, that's good. That's really good there. Let's pause this for a second. So I got, I got distracted with the Enfield 500 there. He cafeed up. You just have a little. Little things to eat everywhere you go. Well, not a bad stop. We're gonna get us a smoothie or something good here in a second. Okay. 
Fresh coconut meat inside. Fresh coconut meat, like a roti or something. Yeah, roll. She makes it right over there on the grill. So we finally want. Here we have some sort of coconut fried roll, grilled roll or something. Something else in here. Wow, one of the little, I don't know what it is. She cooks it on there. We're getting some of these too. It's a crate. Okay. Uh, I'm just some fried chicken. Fried chicken. Three. 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 Two dollars. Oh, wow. Two bucks. We got some fruit. Oh, this is a truck. Look at all this. Oh, bananas. Oh, potatoes. <laughs> Yes, this is some sort of kind of some sort of coconut coconut thing. I don't know if it's sweet. I don't know what it is, but it looks good. Smells good. Oh, oh, it is good. Not too sweet. Not too coconutty. I don't know what it is. Like a coconut green thing. Oh, it's on a banana leaf. And it was fried like a roti, so maybe some egg or something. I'm just gonna go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Not too sweet. Not too coconutty. Good. But it looks pretty jiggly on a banana leaf. It's got coconut, green something. It's been fried or gri it's gri put on the grill. Hmm. So smooth. Not very sweet. Not too chewy. Lots of flavor. I like it. We'll eat a purple one. Mm. I could eat these. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got sticky rice. Sticky rice, they, they give you these little square rectangle sandwich, sandwich bag things. So, I don't know, just eat it like it's a, a sandwich you. almost. I'll make it where I can't get my sticky rice over. Oh. Oh, it's, I mean, you have like a little bite of sticky rice. See? It's rice, but it ain't gonna fall anywhere. It just sits there like that. So you're supposed to grab your chicken. This is that ground, ground chicken. Ground chicken grill. Ground chicken grill. Oh, this is the best. Mm. I'm going to die for. Mm. Then you. Mm. Mm -hmm. So they make this really salty. It's supposed to go with this rice to fill you up. So you. Mmm. 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 I guess this is fried chicken. I don't know how they make fried chicken so darn good, but it's just a die for also. It just, oh, mm, so good. Oh. Mm. Okay, I like I like the travel type apps. Uh, uh, I just wanted to say uh, here in the scooter, the scooter mafia guys. Uh, these guys right here are going home from Bangkok up to wherever they're from. We're talking like 100, 120, sometimes 200 miles, maybe more. On these little scooters that people in America laugh at. But they work here. 
This guy delivers food all day long. There's a lady actually delivering food on this guy. Uh, Connie's brother drives one of these. He rides in 180 miles. And it's, 90, it's 98 degrees right now. They ride these things all over. That's, all they, that's the only thing they have. Either that or ride a train or a bus. Get out here and ride their scooters home to see their family. Pretty cool. They're, they're two up on the scooter, visiting family. God knows how far away. Five hours on that scooter. All right, right hand drive, guys. We're gonna hit it. The mean streets of Bangkok. I mean, no, mean streets of Thailand. Ain't no way I'm gonna drive in Bangkok. I just messed something up there big time. What I notice so far, the mirror is up here on the left. That's the thing that's getting me the most. These mirrors. Uh, kind of there, you know, your, your, your signal is over here and kind of keeps hitting this. So we'll see how I do. Your turn signal is here on the opposite side. Uh, windshield wipers is here, are here. But the big thing I'm having a hard time with my, my, is that, the mirror, the rear view mirror on the left side. And if you just keep the center lines under your armpit, you're okay. But there's enough traffic to where kind of just follow everybody else so we'll see it's just the scooters that I'm worried about because they're everywhere so we'll see how that happens just maintain your lane and see how it goes let's go gear shift on the left right. something you notice is the parking lots here are tiny 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 we got, we got a small car and we still have to back up at the park. Let's see, I gotta stay on this side. Ah. Uh oh, I already did it. Wrong side. Wrong side. There's a scooter. I guess the scooters move out of your way, right? Back on the freeway up here, or are we just going down this way? Uh, go in. Go in. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're in. Gotta let us in. Connie taught me something about the road signs. She was saying green and blue, green and blue. Well, the green means a regular road that anybody can go on. And blue, if it's a blue sign, it's a toll road. And technically the scooters are not supposed to be on that. Or this is not a uh, interstate. This, this is like just a big three lane state or county road uncontrolled access. The toll roads, you know, more like our interstate system. And all of a sudden, we lose all the lanes. Just like that. Scooters just go through whatever they can. Look at that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Full sin, baby. The speed limit on that road I was on is like 90 kilometers an hour, and I was going 100 with flow. Uh, but then you slow down, next thing you know, you're, you're here in all this little traffic, so it gets pretty slow. Your average, if you're traveling, you, you just calculate, if you're going 200 miles, 180 miles is easy. Just calculate 30 to 35 miles per hour for your average speed. So a 180 mile trip would take you, what, five, almost five hours, four to five, depending on traffic. That's what pretty much all the frog do here to calculate time on the foreigners. So while I'm driving along, I'm not worried about breaking any traffic laws because they don't actually enforce any traffic laws. No, no enforcement whatsoever. So I can't get a ticket. All I can do is break a social norm and cause an accident or, or hit a scooter or something or you know, do the U-turn wrong. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I've been watching Connie and trying to figure out the social 
socially accepted common practices of driving other than just pure chaos but I'm not at all worried about getting a ticket for speeding or running anything because they don't there's no absolutely zero enforcement for any traffic laws it's all am I going to hit something that, that's what I'm trying to pay attention to here but anyway that's it Yeah. I can hit this now, right? There we go. My okay. first U-turn. Slow everything. Slow everything into the car. Alright. We stopped at a tree nursery or a nursery to buy some trees. To take two the cabin and the new farm. I woke somebody up. I disturbed his nap. Sorry, dude. Sorry. The other dog was barking at him, though. Anyway, this is the tree, the nursery tree farm on the side of the road. I'm gonna buy something. I don't know what. He's over there. Got vegetable plants, tomato plants too. Here, fellow was sleeping in the hammock. He got he sells soil. Look at all this stuff too. They got a big business here, huh? They sell all sorts of stuff. They're pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Okay. Okay. And find these little. Exciting purchase here. You excited, Connie? What do you say? I don't know what she bought. She bought a bunch of trees. <laughs> nice people. A lot of traffic. Yeah, hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, love it. Awesome. 